What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, the internet. I'll be your host, and I'm here with Mike, who's also your host. But he's, he's, uh, what's, what, what are you? What was that thing that you are? Ear. You went to the doctor. They said you have that thing. Oh, uh, spinal lease. He made himself laugh. No, oh. uh, it's uh, sciatica. Oh, I was thinking about your brain injury, not the, not the leg and not the leg problem. The, how many drinks does Birthday Mike have in front of him? He's got two. I have one. So, I'm gonna take this Ayula Queen among bears for two mana. It's a two-two, so it's just a bear. Uh, whenever another bear enters the battlefield, you can put two counters on target bear, or you can have it. You can have any bear fight a creature you don't control. This card seems fantastic. Especially because there's so many changelings in the format that are also bears. And we just hope to get a bunch of mother bears too. Mother bear is so good, dude. You know what mother bear does? It's the one, isn't that the one where you exile two cards and you make a 2-2? No, it's a, it is a 2-2. And then when it's in the graveyard, you can flash it. Uh, you can exile it from your graveyard to make two 2-2s. Two okay. A 2-2-2s. Two, two, Force of Rage, huh? Three mana for two 3-3s three, that die at the end of your turn. Nine. Fantastic. I ain't about that life. Fantastic goal. This makes a 3-3 golem and you can splice it onto an instant or sorcery. That seems pretty good. That seems very good. Mike, will you be building tribal bears for a commander? Uh, oh, I no. think the I think the black one is better than this one, right? Tribal bears sounds way too fair of a deck for me, sorry. Tribal bears? Mm -hmm. What's the matter with you? You can't have Tribal Bear? Tribal Bear. Oh, Splice on Arcane is four, though. So, like, what are you going to actually, like... You're going to have to pay, like, a one or two mana spell on turn six to really splice this? Yeah, that doesn't seem great. That seems like hot doo-doo. Well, we got ten seconds left. Do if you're interested in Commander, one? you can see my latest build in... In our Discord, I'm just gonna take the spring. Did you did you post your your deck in the command in the? Yeah, I need help shaving like six cards. You shave your cards? Yeah, I shave them, nice and fine. Nice and fine, see? There's a mother bear. I like exclude. I like mother bear, and I like subtle beyond reality. It's gotta be the bear, right? I think this is... I mean, like, exiling a creature then returning to the battlefield is pretty good because you can blink a bear just to get an extra trigger. Shut you can get an extra plus money. two, plus two. And one, let Shell Mike know we all love her, Buck. Well, I would definitely let her know. I'll definitely Shell let Mike. her know. Shell Mike. Jesus. <laughs> oh. That's the third pick exclude. I don't know if it's that late. It's very good. All right, I'm going to take the mother bear because we're just full on... Is this good? When it enters the when it, when it or another snow permanent enters the battlefield, scry one. Okay. At the beginning of your if you control 10 or more snow permanent... Nope. Oh, you lost me. Nope. Done. Solomgar Scavenger is good. That seems fine. Yeah, I think it's the best card in this pack. What is Fists of Flame? Oh, you draw a card and you get plus one, plus one for each card. Plus one, plus oh for each card you've drawn this turn. Sure. Sure. Sure, Bert. Sure, Bert. Hey, Bert. Slumber? What does slumber do? What are you saying right now? Oh, that's exciting. Is it? Squirrel nest? Is it really that good? You make a 1-1 every single turn? Guys, can people tell Michael how exciting squirrel nest is? What's the R word? Rubies. Did someone say a bad R word, Alan? Elvis Shuri. Yeah, it's just plus two, plus two, and bye. Frostwell could be fine. Especially if we do take a bunch of uh, snowy boys. Oh my god, Unicorn and Squirrel Nest? That's unbelievable. I think this guy's good enough, right? Uh, I also like Return. I think Return is good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just didn't see it in the chat. So, yeah. Yeah. Preferred not. I'm going to use this to get my bears back. I, get my I want my bears back, bears back, bears back, bears back. 
Oh, another mother bear? Oh, a trumpeting herd seems very good too, though. You create a 3 3 elephant and then you create another 3 3 elephant. But bear synergy. You mean bear energy? Yeah. Hmm. I see your point. They're both six power, but this one has better upside for our deck. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the bear. Oh, I'm a little smoke shape. Are the bears a trap though? I mean they're just they're no, they're great on their own, right? Like this is just a two two for two that makes two more two twos for two in the late game. Mother bears can be 12 power with queen bear. Oh, that's true, because you make the two bears, and then they each become 4-4. Four, four. Oh, no, that's not a trap at all. That's just living your best bear life. <laughs> uh, I guess we're just taking this. I mean, we're closer to black than anything else, so, meh. I, the 1-1 one, one changeling wasn't like... I don't know. It's a bear, but I'm not going to... I'd rather not play it. Uh, signs are coming... You know, we're not doing that. We're not doing butts here. We'll just take martyr soul, I guess. Eh... This guy's not a, a bear, right? I don't think you're playing any of those cards. I agree. I agree with you. Oh, a changeling. If we're not black, I think this is probably the way to go. Even if we are black, it's not this or this. So. Oh, the Force of Rage came back. That's not worth anything, right? I just want to make sure. No way. Um, it's actually hot poop, I bet. I don't even see. Oh, Force of Rage. Oh, two cents. Two cents. All right. Good. Just making sure. Just a nice two cents. A shiny nickel. Yeah, I'll just take Night of Old Benalia. Uh, stirring, a, stirring a dress is fine. It's just a trick, and if you have six mana, it's a, kind of an overrun. Oh, Frost Wall came back? All right. Dismantling blows. Oh, a little Spore Frog. All right, so I think we're actually okay with... I think we're okay with green. green. White's pretty classic. It is. It's a class of aggressive, aggressive strategy, strategery. Stratego. I like the periodic ASMR we get from birthday, Mike. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is I a know good that one. one. Oh, that's gas. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's still pretty sweet. It's also. It's a uh, planes arc. It's got to be worth something. It's also worth noting that this showed up in the modern challenge in the spirits deck. There were two copies in the spirits deck, so not terrible. Um, yeah, two, two t it's two tickets, but like it's still it's still a mythic. It makes a four four flyer on turn four, and then creatures with flying you control get plus one plus one. Like we're definitely just windmill slamming a Sarah. That seems good. Oh, Marasa Behemoth is very good. You know this guy. It's a five five for six. If you have a land in your graveyard, it's an eight eight trample. Seems good. It's pretty decent. Yeah, that guy's really big. Now I gotta pick up that fetch land. No, because you have like the spring leaf, spring bloom druid that you can sack a land and then put two lands into play. Or uh, true. there's also a common land that you can sacrifice to put two counters on things. Man, I really hope we just get this every every game. Ooh, future sight. This pack's pretty bad. What is soul strike technique? Plus one, plus one vigilance. When it dies, you manifest the top card. That's actually not bad. It's not terrible, I guess. Could also take Amorphous Axe, which is very good with floaty boys. It's like all enchantments. Pretty good if it doesn't die when you try to connect it. Right. Like, as long as it resolves, you're like, yeah, that's pretty okay. And if they bounce it, you're like, oh, this is terrible. I don't think Enduring Sliver is really that great. I would rather just take Amorphous Axe and then have a... Because, like, Amorphous Axe with things like Squirrel Nest or Bear Tokens is actually pretty good. And my axe. <laughs> well, I do like a generous gift. Also, Rock's Veteran is good. Especially with I like how they just reprinted Beast Within and White. Yeah, right, it's just it's just white white beast within. It's elephant within, which is fine. I guess oh, I yeah, think it's, it's an elephant just, instead of a beast. Yeah, there. I think it's just rocks rocks veteran. That seems good. Battle cry seems good. And the other ability is also super relevant. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited about Squirrel Nest. Apparently, are you not, bro? You got to take some Snowlands so you can get your Frost Wall on. Yeah, you're right. Look at this guy. This guy looks just like a happy lizard. Hell Any white you. deck that doesn't have two plus veteran sucks. That's that's aggressive. That's aggressive. So how are you feeling about this format in general? I've been enjoying it. Oh, 
that might be worth splashing. Especially because we have Springleaf through it. Ooh, we might just take this Factor Fiction. The only other card I would even consider in this pack is Cave of Temptation, which uh, helps fulfill our land quota, but so does this. You really want to be three colors, though? I've been three colors for most of my decks, yeah. I think it's fine. There's are. a lot of fixing. The greedy boy. Because you have basic... There's a basic land, Cave of Temptation, that fixes. There's Springleaf, Springbloom Druid. There's all the Talismans. Um, there is the three mana artifact that adds any color, but also becomes a 3-3 three, three if you need it to. Like, there's actually a good amount of fixing. Okay. Well, the guy at this table did not get Factor Fiction, so... <laughs> Let's take out Snow Cover Forest. I was just going to take these Wing Shards. That's pretty good. You're right. Oh, also we can uh, take, take Hall of Heliod's Generosity, which is an enchantment to Academy Ruins. We can put our Squirrel Nest back on top. What if they had an Academy Ruins for uh, for Planeswalkers? You can just be like, put a Planeswalker back on top. What are you doing over there? Just messing with my cards? Yeah. <laughs> Typical. Typical Michael Bellucci. Bellucci. Belushi? Belucci. Gorlami. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if we want two, though. What? Are you insane? Really? You want two? Guys, do we take a second Factor Fiction? Is two Factor Fictions... Is that okay? Totally fine, right? Yeah, you're, you're out of your mind. <laughs> oh, and then we can take this Fountain of Icar. Yeah! Not gonna what? Not a man of any color. Um, I'll just take the snow covered forest actually. Selfran decoy is fine. Oh, this is actually great because with uh, squirrel nest we can tap their guys down on our turn or on their turn. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty sweet. Reprobation's all right. Wall of cuts is good. I'm just gonna take the decoy here. This is actually the first time the decoy is real good. Uh, just take this, I guess. Martyr Soul, whatever, unexciting. Uh, whatever. Eh, whatever. <laughs> eh. I still have the highest propensity to splash blue any magic player I've ever seen. Okay. I'm fine with it. Okay. Okay. Also, Factor Fiction is great at getting lands in the graveyard from Rasa Behemoth, so. Hey, man. Yes, man. Maybe you can give your opinion on what I should shave it on my commander deck at some point. You heard it here first, guys. Michael wants to shave. He wants to chat to shave some part of him. <laughs> and we get to decide what to shave. Wow. Not exactly what I said. Unsettled Mariner. Double Squirrel Nest? Whenever you are permanent, you control becomes the target of spell or ability and opponent controls counter that spell unless they pay one. And it's a bear. I'm pretty sure it's Squirrel Nest number two. Shave them eyebrows. You want to do the eyebrows? <laughs> no. How good is Squirrel Nest in this format? I don't think it's super aggressive. I don't know. Can we burn your eyebrows off instead? Would that be better? No. Why not? I'm just talking about Commander deck, bruh. Well, yeah, but you want info, so you gotta you gotta pay the piper. <laughs> I don't know. I just pay you for a Commander video instead. <laughs> Nah, the cost is shaved on my brows. <laughs> Don't want your opinion that badly. I think you do. You'll be back. Wow. You'll be back. I think just to take Squirrel Nest. Even if you don't have double Squirrel Nest, like, you still play one of them. I want to eat his eyebrows. Is that weird? Yes, that is weird. Yeah, that's weird, man. Come on, DJ Fap City. Untap another target snow permanent. No, nah, man, take that second Druid. I do like the Druid. Uh, Chiller Pillar is pretty good too, but I mean, we're already. Well, I love my little Chiller Pillar. Ooh. All right, we're done. So you have no snow permanents currently. I got one. I got a snow cover forest. It's not enough. You need two. What? Why? For Chill Pillar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Oh, my God. Oh, that's good. Get out of here, dude. This is the second time I've been past this card, and it's actually bonkers. It's 10 power for five mana. Double Squirrel Nest, Deep Forest Hermit. Oh, that's good too. Forgot about that. <laughs> That's fantastic, my man. Oh my god. This is... Another squirrel nesting? 
Or you could take in a snow covered forest here. I think two squirrel nests is enough. I actually like talisman better than snow covered forest. Talisman? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's good. I don't think we need triple squirrel nest. I think the I, like the meme the meme value is really high. <laughs> Just to have triple squirrel nest deep forest hermit, it's real high. Actually, I think I think settle beyond is even better. This card's just fantastic, and we don't actually have that much rule. Yeah, but splashing colors is important. Right, but we already have... I think we'll be fine. Okay. We have double spring spring bloom druid to get one, one island. Scale up. Oh my god, making all of our squirrels six fours? Oh, snap. That seems That's insane. Good. Also, just making one a six four is pretty relevant. Oh yeah, that's busted. Oh yeah, we're doing it. I think we have a deck. I think we have a I think this is a, this is a this is a, a sexy 23 right here. I'll just take this squirrel. This guy's a squirrel and a bear, so so he's basically perfect. He's basically perfect. I want to play him over the axe. Is the axe good? Well, no, actually with our tokens it's Yeah, relevant. just make any squirrel a 4/1. Uh, I like twin silk spider. He comes back, you know. Oh my god, Land of War Tribe? That's interesting. Probably too green. It probably is too green, but I think we still take it. We're probably not playing it, but... Whatever, man. I play what I want. I do, I do play what I want, it's true. You can play whatever you like. It's three green? Oh, he said, I see what he did there. Um... It's probably Wall of Blossoms. I don't think it's Nimble Mongoose. But maybe. We have Factor Fiction and... Uh, yeah. I think Wall of Blossoms better? I don't think we're playing either. Whatever. I'll take a Wall of Blossoms. I wish we had more Snow Perms, but if we do end up getting any like lands on the wheel, having this Frost Wall is probably better. Thank you. Oh yeah, it does get buffed by the hermit too, because it's a squirrel. Who? The changeling. Yeah, I said that. I said it's a squirrel and a bear. This guy's great. It's a four four for five. Yeah, you mean sack of land if you do draw a card. Threshold to get something else. Uh threshold it gets plus one plus one in vigilance. Okay. And sack of the land's relevant for the behemoth. We do have to make one cut, though. It's probably Night of Albanale, even though it is good with our squirrely boys. Actually, we can probably take out Stirring Address. Because we already have this guy to pump, scale up. Yeah, we could cut the wall since we only have one snow permanent. Yeah, that's actually fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, wow. The Squirrelness came back and the Talisman came back? I take the Talisman. Wow. Um, yeah, I'll just take the wall for floaty boys. This is 12 creatures, but it's also a double squirrel nest and Sarah, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, the fountain's also a creature. Missed so many good picks. I mean, I think we also got a lot of good picks, too, so... I don't know. I'm no lawyer. Good point. <laughs> I didn't consider that. Uh, shards. Okay, let's make sure everything is playable. Yeah, this seems good. Yeah, all these cards are great. Uh, yep, I like two islands. Six, nine. We'll go seven, eight, just because I do want to hit uh, double white for this guy. All right. Um, we could play the three, the other three one. Actually, I kind of, I do like that over like, I don't know what to put it to put it over though. Maybe, maybe axe. I don't know. Yeah, I can see cutting axe. All right, fine. Uh, we don't have any benefit to the snow forest. Like there's literally there's actual zero cards that actually get benefited by the snow forest, so it's 
So I mean, we could play it, but it's just it's we're just we're just being we're just being cute at that point. I do like the axe. I like being able to turn two talisman, turn three squirrel nest, and then also making a squirrel because we have four mana. I don't know what else to cut though. We might just be able to cut fountain. I mean, we have talisman and double springleaf druid for two blue cards. I actually kind of like that. Of course, we might have trouble getting double white now. But Talisman does let us go turn three Squirrel Nest to activate. So, we'll see. I don't know. This deck seems good. Oof. This is a, this is a, this is a Sneep. Seems okay. Sneep City. How come you face so me? Oh, that's pretty good. Wow, where were you last turn? Where were you last turn? <sighs> Tempted to just block. Or just take it, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. That's interesting. I mean, we attack, then they sack this guy and trade. That doesn't seem great. And then they still have another putrid goblin. Also, Sarah's pretty rough here because they can just trade with the Bogarden Heart, Dragon Heart, which is fine, I guess. Interesting. But that means they get a guy on board, but I guess they lose this guy. Yeah, this is fine. Interesting. I feel like this card's much better. Cycle and response. Well, that's unfortunate because Sarah goes to one. I guess we can just wait. And this guy can't be blocked. Easy sacrifice a land next turn. Make a 4 4 draw a card. Seems okay. We're probably just going to draw a squirrel nest, though. You guys ready for the squirrel nest off the top? Uh, up to two target creatures can't block this turn. Sure. No blocks. That was not a squirrel nest, much to my surprise. It was even worse. <laughs> Ooh, Bear Queen! Carol Bear Queen! Sharing the same dream. That can make a bunch of four fours pretty soon. Okay, stop killing my things. It's getting a little old, my friend. I guess we'll take five. Is this guy coming down? Two turns? God, he's always. He, this guy takes so long. Suspend five is a lot. They have two cards in hand. We can either play bear and then hope that it survives and make two bears next turn, each of them. We make one bear. We make two two twos. One of them we put counters on, the other we make fight. So let me get to keep a 2-2. Two, two. 
Hmm. I think it might just be Angel here. I really don't want to take another five. I guess that's fine. What does that card do? It deals two damage to a creature. Oh, wow. And you had Firebolt. That's actually... Wow, they had just everything. This is just perfect. They've killed, like, literally all your creatures except for this 2-4. Yep. They are doing very well for themselves. Yep. No blocks. It's actually not bad. And next turn we can make bears and a squirrel. Oh, they also have firebolt, so they can just kill this. Well, that's great. That's great. Was that Alexa making a fart noise? It sounded like it. The fuck? Why did that happen? I don't know. Did you guys hear that? That cre that's really creepy. I'm really creeped out right now. I'm gonna look I'm gonna look it up and see what the last command was. It sounded like she made a fart noise, but I don't remember saying anything even remotely related to doing that. Alexa heard Alexa fart. I have no idea what I... I have no idea what could I possibly said. That would make that happen. Yeah, like that was the weirdest thing ever, dude. Oh, we're actually dead to this changeling now. This guy's actually doing some work here. This guy comes in. At long last, I have arrived. Did he gain his life? Is this from is this what just happened? Let me see if there's something in this clip. <laughs> you can see like the moment we look at each other and I'm just like What happened? Alright, so yeah, we're basically dead here. We have no way to deal with one one. Can someone clip it just before that so I can, like, hear what was said that maybe sounded like, hey, Alexa fart? I'm going to take the axe out because I think we're that's a little too slow for us. Actually, I don't even think Wall of Blossoms is great because they have a bunch of four guys. Mm, three, five wall could be good. It's a little slow. Frog him. <laughs> That's what I always say. Frog him. Oh boy. None of these other cards are that great. 
So the tank you had had like a lifetime guarantee or whatever? It says a lifetime warranty on it. I don't have the receipt, but if they give me a hard time, it's going to be pretty amazing because the, the tank has top fin on the bottom. And this is also the label from it. So like there's no way I would have got it from somewhere else. And then if they're like, well, we don't know when you bought it, I could be like, it's a lifetime warranty. It doesn't matter when I bought it, right? Like, You also might have to go through top fin directly. Well, if they want to ship me a $75, 75-gallon 75 tank. Well, Top Fin is PetSmart's brand, though. Is it? Yeah. How do you not know that? Didn't you work for PetSmart like a million years ago? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A million years ago. Exactly. One million years ago. Guys, I'm really dying to learn how... How she, how she farted. Guys, tell me. Someone explain the fart to me. I want to know what fart is. I want you to show me. Na, 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 na. I, 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 you know, I was actually thinking whether the storm to gain like a million. I'm just gonna play Wall of Blossoms. I think it's fine. It'll block. It'll, it blocks. It protect. I guess those are the same things, huh? Oof. Jesus Oof again. This is how we die. I guess the London Mulligan's not on here. I heard it is on Arena. Um, We could play Knight of Old Benalia, I guess. That's not good enough, though. Does Michael have gas? <laughs> is this it? Is this the new clip? No, that's the same clip, right? Dang it. I think the chewing into the mic really sets off the song of Mike's. What is that? What does that mean? Okay, I'm going to keep this and hate myself for it, but whatever. We're just going to go to game two. Can, uh... God, no one's going to clip that far. I have no idea. Dude, it was so weird because I was like, is that Hunter? But then it sounded way too A-robotic. And B, it sounded way too robust. This was a robust fart. It had a, uh... It had a lot of, a lot of different range... It had a lot of range to it. In terms of farts. You okay, man? Michael, burp. It's basically the same thing. Okay, I guess we got a, I guess we got a playable. I'll trade with this guy. But they're gonna be like, firebolt attack for here we go. Oh, another pain for it. Alright, we're good. It's okay. I also like how the turtle has entered my domain now. Yeah, the turtle's gotta go in the in the bathtub for a little bit every day now because she doesn't have a, a tank right now, so I just put a little water in there and then plop her in. If we had a green, we could have went Ayula into this guy, which would have been sweet. Can I get a green source? Apparently not. Alexa, will Mike's dad ever come back? Hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Oh, man. What a classic. What a classic. What? Come on. Maybe they'll sacrifice it. Maybe. Oh, God. They just give it undying, don't they? Ugh. Let's hope they don't. You really going to try to get him here? Oh, yeah. I'll get him. Just sack the persist guy. <laughs> you know, they're going to play a spell pre combat. They'll never do that. They'll never do it. Ugh. Ugh. Dang it, they didn't do it. They didn't go for it. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, pre-fart Alexa. Yes! She's going to say something. Oh, they also have fireballs, so they can just kill this. Well, that's cool. Is that it? Hold on. Oh, they also have fireballs, so they can just kill this. Well, that's great. That's great. It might have been also have firebolt. When we said also have firebolt, I could see him thinking also fireball. Alexa fart. I could hear it. I could see it. 
that's probably what happened. It's so weird when I talk like this. She did it again. <laughs> she did it again. Oh my god. We live wow, in an we age. just confirmed it. We live in an age where I have a robot in my house that will fart on command. What a time to be alive, guys. I don't know if it's a robot. Oh, also played Fireball must be Alexa play a fart. That's that's got to be it. You don't consider it a robot? No, because it doesn't. Does a robot need to move? You mean like get its groove on? <laughs> Does a robot no, got like, to move? Philly. <laughs> no, man, a robot doesn't have to move, right? <clears throat> You're thinking of a cyborg, bro. No, cyborg just means you're part human and part machine. Does a robot have to move? I don't think so. Maybe. Shit. <laughs> I feel like Alex is more of an AI. <clears throat> She's going to do something now. <laughs> She's going to do something. Do something then. Oh, <laughs> I assume they all do, yes. Mike, you are a cyborg. Wow. I might be. Okay, so we're just. Oh, fire. I'm just done. Our deck is sweeping well to five, so. They're just too aggressive for us. I guess everybody really does toot. That's what they uh, that's what they taught me back in grade school. Well, that was a fun and exciting match. Yikes, dog. Yikes, dog. That tank that I ordered, I ordered a, I don't know if you saw it. I guess I probably didn't show you. No. 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 Eh. I just got a steel one, which is pretty sweet. I like it a lot better than the wood ones. Looks like this. Oh, for the stand, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Simpler. It's a lot simpler, and like if the, if it gets wet, you're just like... It's steel. Yeah. yeah, who cares? It's also going to be powder-coated, so it'll be protected from rust a little bit better. Um, oh, yeah, this hand seems great. But uh, he's like, it'll probably be like five to six weeks. And I'm like, oh, God. So the turtle just has to live in the bathtub for five to six no, weeks? No, I'm probably just going to put the... I'm probably going to set up whatever the tank is now on just something. Like, okay. And... Uh, you could probably still use the old stand for now. You probably could. I just... It's... God, water and... Sh oh, God. I mean, there's a lot of reinforcement on that thing. So I'm not, like, super concerned with it, but... No, I don't think the stand was a problem. I mean, you definitely want to oh, show the chat. It's not a new tank per se. It's just a new. Um, it's just a new stand for the tank. Yes, that. Excellent. All right, let me. What's I gonna do? I'm just gonna. I want to drag it over, but it looks like this basically. And I'm getting it powder coated white. It's not a. It's not the tank itself. This is gonna be the stand that it goes on, though. It's gonna. It's. It's probably not gonna be this big. It'll probably be as big as wide as like the seventy-five gallon white? tank that is. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you don't like white. This is an interesting choice. Well, interesting. it's like I. It's like it's like my. It's like the uh, some of the Same IKEA stuff. The wall. No, I just think the white and black contrast is good. I like it. Okay. So it'll be like this, only white. So. Is that Mike's new habitat? Yeah, he's gonna. That's <laughs> that's where he's gonna sleep. Oh th wait, they have nothing on board, and we just get to play a planeswalker. You know what's unfair, man? Yeah, man. What? Tell me. I gotta wait two paychecks to make my commander deck. God, where's the justice in the world? Yeah, that's life. That actually is literally life. I thought the stand was wide. <laughs> that's what I. I really wonder how heavy it's gonna be, because uh, it's made of metal. It's probably going to be a thousand pounds. That's my concern. I hope it gets through the door. There's a lot of... One thousand pounds. What? That's so rude. Did you see it was in our hand for a second? What does that even do? It's um, it's chain lightning, but for bouncing a guy. Okay. So you can return a thing, and if so they pay So it's chain two. of vapor, but not as good because it can't bounce any permanent. Chain of vapor. Oh, interesting. So one, two, three, four. They can't pump this next turn. So do we take a turn off to Spring Druid or just play two bears? I think we play two bears. Make it a four-four. Oh yeah. I probably want to make this a four-four. Oh, you can do that. Oh, uh, you can put two counters on any cre on target bear. 
Oh, that's even better than I thought. Yeah, you can also fight with any bear. It's not just the bear you put into play. So if I play another bear, I can choose to have this bear fight this. So hmm. Maybe I will make a bear commander deck. <coughs> All the rares, I'm like, bears. <laughs> oh, birthday stream is no? It's no? No, that's sad. Oh, that's sad. I want a birthday stream. Birthday stream... So you're still trying to barbecue? Yeah, I'm still trying to. After this, after this, it'll probably be like 7.30-ish. We can head to the PetSmart, do our thing, head to the barbecue. Or we can head to barbecue first, probably, because I'd rather eat... Well, PetSmart's going to close at 9. Right, but even if I get a PetSmart at 8.45, I still think that's fine. Whereas, like, I don't want to get to a restaurant at 8.45, so whatever. Which PetSmart are we going to? Uh, Which one, you said? Mm-hmm. I don't care. Whichever's closest on the way. Oh, man. Lava dart to kill the mother bear? That seems rough, because next turn if we hit land, we can just make more? Wait, this... Wait, does this... Why didn't... Wait. Because we could go to we could go to the my OG pet smart. Wait, why couldn't I block that? I don't know. Oh, because of Quake... Oh, because they cycled this. Oh, they made it unable to block. I was like, what's going on right now? Hey. What's going on? I don't know how to make the cringe face on Magic Online, so we're just gonna... Bro, flashback them bears. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, and he's like, alright, concede. <laughs> that's all I need to know. And then I accidentally hit reveal hand, because that's how magic works. So, yep. Alright, well, that was fun. Thanks for revealing my hand. A lot of bears in Wilton Manor. I don't even know what that means. Mmm, a lot of bears in Wilton Manor. Mmm, yes. Wise. Wise? Are, what, did you just make... Did you just make... That was just a thing I did. That has nothing... There's no bearing on anything. It sounded like that was from a thing. It's not. Didn't you say, mmm, wise? Yeah. What does the wise... <laughs> what does the wise mean at the end? Um... Wise. I don't know. Those bears are wise, you see. There's no reasoning behind my. You'd say it has no bearing on anything. Oh god. <laughs> oh Jesus. We have a good time. Oh god. Oh biscuits. I think we're actually just playing. We're just playing off. We're just playing on curve here. We can go this guy into this guy, and then just reload with the factor fiction. Mike was laying bare his soul. Oh, God. B -b -b bears. It's ar arguably it might be better to keep the bears for later when we have Ayula. Nah, that's too greedy. It is pretty greedy. So there's only one in the deck, so it seems pretty risky. Oh, wow. You're just going to bounce it? Oh, Mana War? God. Works out anyway. Razor Gator. Uh, we could Talisman into into bear, maybe? That seems fine. Yeah, that does seem fine. However, this guy hits us four land. If we hit if we hit land land, then we get to just go. Now nah, we can. I'm just gonna play this, dude. We're gonna sack an island to get forest island. No. We're gonna sack a plains to get forest plains. No, we actually have a blue source here. We can actually just sacrifice the island to get forest. You only need one blue source. Mm, tricky, tricky. We want to be able to play this next turn, so we can go green. We can sack this for forest. On. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I was wondering why your stream had an MTGO chat box covering everything up, but then I realized it was my MTGO chat <laughs> That's a that's a pretty sweet that's a pretty sweet mistake there. That's hilarious actually. God, why does this guy have an MTGO box on his screen? Wait. That's my oh god. Ninja. Dude. Which one does that do? This one makes a blue illusion. Well, that's good because it'll that never float Because it'll never happen again. Oh, that was a good draw. Oh. They do have mana war in hand. But we can just go Ayula into bear. And then kill... We can actually just trade this bear for this. Which is totally fine. 
What are they doing? Oh my goodness gracious. What a degenerate. What a tricky jerk. What a tricky jerk is right. Couldn't have said it better myself, Michael B. Michael Bear. Do you know the B stands for bear? The bear stands for share. No, that doesn't... That's... Mm. It rhymed, though. Yeah, I guess you did have that going <laughs> for you. I guess it did rhyme. Can't argue with them, guys. It rhymed. Correct. Chiller McPillerson. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I guess we do it again. We know they have mana war in hand. That's what we know. <laughs> yeah, but pro <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I did. Cons I did think about it when I said I it. You fit into that category, yes. Oh boy, <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, good lord. The problem is, you only get to choose one. I wish you got to choose two. <coughs> Just send the salami to his mommy, okay? Send it on in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can kill his chill pill. I mean, if they block. Because we can't make a 4 4 and fight. We can only do one or the other. Oh, yeah, it's a 3 3. My bad. I mean, we could actually oh, attack with this guy, which is totally fine. But they're not going to they're gonna block. I mean, they know we have Ayula. Ayula Matata. It means what a wonderful bear. For the rest of your days. And I don't even want to put counters on because they have... We know they have a... Mana War? Yeah. So many bears. Every day. I wonder if Bears Tribal is actually legit in Commander. I wonder if you can really do it. Are there enough bears? I don't think there's enough bears. That's the problem I see is not enough bears. Because you got Ayula, you got Mother Bear, you got Grizzly Bear, you got the Illusion Bear for one mana, the blue one, you know? It's not even that oh, good. Oh, you can't even do yeah, that. Yeah, because your, your commander is going to be Ayula, right? Yeah, Ayula should have some kind of color in her symbol. That A way color can... in her symbol? Yeah, so you can play blue. <laughs> What's her symbol, you think? What area is the symbol? Like, I, I, she should have some kind of blue ability to make it so you I, I know what you're saying. Blue, right. You mean she should have some kind of color symbol. You said she should have a color in her symbol. Oh, no. <clears throat> like she's a magician like she's a musician or something alright so they can't actually monster us this guy right I'm just gonna block this guy with a mother bear I guess you can play a bunch of changelings it's a problem free what is this you're doing are they gonna me. oh my god it's col are problem free <laughs> colostomy <laughs> excel the top two cards of their library you can cast those sure Wait, what? For free? Yep. It's really good. It's like the best ninja ever. It's pretty gross. Holy shit. That's unbelievable. That's the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. And of course, we haven't had a fifth land. Wow. I mean, I would want my colostomy to be problem free. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the card is broken. On the bright side, if they ninjutsu either of these guys, we get them back, so. Holy smokes. Oh my god, what in the hell, dude? That card's... Oh my god. I thought you had to pay for the cards, at least. I was like, alright, no big deal. The first attack doesn't do much because you're paying for the ninjutsu, but... Holy crap. That's insane. I'm I'm dumbfounded by that card. Yeah, that's me, man.
Yep. You gotta bounce this. Yeah, nothing else does anything. Jesus, God, this is unbelievable. Oh, and they get to tap, so we can't even trade with this. Yeah, this is unbelievable. That's that's ridiculous. Holy crap. Getting injured, bro. I did. I did get injured. Holy jeez. <coughs> Man, it's funny because we haven't been drawing many of these squirrel, these squirrel gentlemen. Look at these hands, man. I'm gonna keep this because we have turn one guy and turn two axe, but oh god, <clears throat> not loving it. A talisman and a land and a. There's some things we'd like to draw here. Did a draft and built a red green goblin your first draft? Yeah, that deck was great. That deck was great. Green. Okay, it's playable. I accept. <clears throat> I mean, maybe we just get in there with a 4 3 for the rest of the game. Doubt. Wow. Why could be so negative? Each land in your hand has cycling. That's interesting. All right, well. Missed our first land drop again. I think out of, like, how many games have we played today? How many have we missed our third land drop? Significant amount? Probably, like, five? <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Cycle land and nothing else. Interesting. Oh, there we go. There we go. Do we equip here? I feel like that's okay. I mean, all the red spells deal two damage except for Pyrophobia, but you probably would have used that already. Okay. Uh, why did you... You cycled this, but then missed the fourth land drop. Well, you do have to cycle a land to do it, so it's a little awkward. They're probably looking for blue, is my guess. Oh, I see. Yeah, Pyro Yeah, I wasn't afraid of Pyrophobia. I'm just saying, like, in the future, I'd rather... if <clears throat> I wasn't afraid of them casting at that turn. I was just saying, in the future, am I wasting three mana by just equipping this? Uh, when I could put another body on the board. And uh, I think the answer was no. This guy comes down next turn. Yeah, less than ideal. I mean, I missed a bunch of land drops last game, too. Like, it, it definitely happens. Can we get the 2 1? Let's find out. This is a snapper. This is this is a bear too, my dude. Oh, I know. Okay, take it easy. You don't have to show I off. I know. Okay. Where'd you learn to do that? I learned it from you, Dad. <clears throat> Just move your microphone? Yeah. Did you scream at it so loud that it moved or, and then you had to pull it back? Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. If you guys can't tell, Mike's booping the microphone with his face. I think they saw. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow, that's rude. Why would you do that? <coughs> well, shucks. That's sad. That's so sad. I'm really sad. Bobby Butters in chat. How's everyone? What's going on, Zimmy Pot? Sure. Sure. Hokey. Uh, I wish I had a blue source here. That'd be great. I'm a fan of having blue sources. How about you, man? How do you feel about blue sources? They're pretty good. Are they? <coughs> well, it's a start.
<laughs> Fascinating. Looks like we got the bear mirror match, boys. The bearer match, if you will. The bearer match. I won't. I know. And that's why it hurts so much. I think we're just passing here. I don't feel like equipping does anything against this board. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, look, I got another trustworthy scout. So both of our tutus made more tutus. Only we have one more tutu to bear. Well, we're getting to a point where this looks very, very good. Where scale up looks pretty good. I wish they had trample, but that'd probably be pretty. That'd probably be too good, right? Six mana make all your creatures six for the trample. Yeah, it's yeah, just it's just like a really good overrun at that point. Broken. That'd be so good. They'd have to make it like a mythic rare at that point. Look at all my three ones. Oh, does this become a changeling? Oh, it becomes... Oh, because the amorphous axe. That's pretty sweet. Sure. <laughs> One, two, three. That guy's not bad. Let's get in there with our bears. Six land and blue sources are our friends. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Got him. <clears throat> oh, they just take six here? Fascinating. All right, well. They have four cards in hand? It's just like mono lands. They're going wide too, which is interesting. Can you take me wider? I knew you were going to say that. To a place where my bees go. <laughs> where do they go? You know where they go. Just gonna play this fat daddy. Which cards are you most excited for for this set for Commander? From this set? Yeah. Not much. You don't like a Eula for your Commander, your Bear, your bear mm. Mander deck? That ninja's really good for the ninja's deck. The blue black ninjas commander. <laughs> yeah, you ain't kidding. There's a bunch of ninjas that are really good in this set. For oh, shoot, their battle screen. That commander. <clears throat> Alright. I'm game. No good Earl, I'll do you I'll do you solid. I'll look at the spoilers and right now. I'll do you a solid. Tell you what's what. I think we're actually just getting in there with this guy. What if they you know, block one, two, three, four? Kill, kill. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think Urz is really good. I think Yogmoth is okay. The only problem with Yogmoth is like mono black. He's got to be mono black, yeah. which isn't necessarily bad. But proliferation, you want like other colors. Urz just seems busted. <coughs> I mean, he's just in a Tolarian Academy, which is really good. I mean, I hope they don't have one of like the three pump spells. I guess the the plus one plus one is fine. The plus two plus two is a little rougher, but if they have scale up, it's pretty bad. Because only three can get through, and then we have to... Actually, four, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Well, if they only attack with those, then we get those wing shards, though, so... I don't know. I'm selling a kidney to get some duels for Commander, and he takes... I think you could probably get a play set of duels with a kidney. Kidney's yeah, probably over, like, enough. 10, 10k. Yeah, Urza's really good. Um, 
see what else we got here. I think Unbound Flourishing is good if you're trying to play the Hydra's deck, which actually can work. Uh, Echoes of Aeons is obviously great. It's just a, it's just like a reasonably expensive time twister. Uh, Force Negation is great. I just snapped off 30 bucks on a set of high-end proxy fetches and duels for Commander. Yeah, I've done the same. I did it for uh, for my cube though. As long as you're not playing in competitive tournaments, I think those are fine. Like, it's just unreasonable to play to pay two hundred dollars for a real duel to play commander. Just for it's commander, just not, yeah. It's just not reasonable, especially when like stuff like Mox Diamond is already hundred dollars anyway, and Mana Crypt is like seventy bucks. I think Collector Oath is really good. That's the guy that like makes it so artifacts can't be activated, which is really good. Uh, Restorm and Fluster Storm's fine. Uh, Sissé is good. The Weatherlight Captain. It's five color general. Those are always good. Kidneys uh, are very pricey. You ain't kidding. I think Marty Hooch's <coughs> Slumber could be okay. You just play all Snowlands. You can snow whatever you want. All the oh, we just won the game. All the news are great. Yeah, it turns out Scale Up is a pretty unreasonable limited card. This guy, especially being a 6-4 Trampler, is also uh, yeah, not bad. pretty nice. I kind of like Spore Frog here, because I feel like they're trying to go wide, too. And Generous Gift is good for white decks. Generous Gift is good for our white decks. A Rego 3 print is always nice. A Rego 3 print is always nice. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I want to bring in this spider, because they have... Um, I think... Tribute Mage is really good because it can go get um, Lightning Greaves and Swiftfoot Boots. So I think Tribute Mage is really good for Commander. Considering how relevant those cards are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could see bringing in Dismantling Blow. Probably over Factor Fiction even just because it draws you to... I don't know if we had time there, but we'll I'll keep this hand. Ponder Mage is probably pretty decent. Really? For five mana? Yeah, but it's just like a relevant body that does something, which is always good. 2-2, two, two, it gets plus two as long as... Oh, yikes, that guy's aggressive. I mean, not for like competitive commander, but for like for fun commander, I think it's fine. For fun commander... You know the format I never played. Uh, you do any modern vids? I mean, are you saying in general or when? Uh, the cast reprint is nice. That's obviously good. The first sliver, again, it's a five color general that has cascade and it's super relevant for slivers. I think that guy's great. It's a commander, not a general. Oh my god, commander! Sorry. That's what's the, that's the name of the format. Yeah, I know. It's named after the card itself. Collective conjuring could be good if you set it up right. Yikes. This is an aggressive start here. Fallen Shinobi's broken as hell. Who? That's the this, the the one that wrecked us, the Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, that card's not okay. Card is super good. In fact, I'm probably gonna add that to my Marchesa deck. Marchesa. I mean, I haven't done any modern videos since Modern Horizons, but it's only been like four days. Um. Sure. Alter Dementia is a nice reprint. Oh my uh, god, they're going to play three things, and I get to... Oh boy, this is... More from the Bouncing seems fine. I think the Mox Tantaline is a trap. Oh, we don't have... Actually, we don't have mana for this. Swords are fine. God dang it, that's bad. So... The talismans are obviously great. Create a squirrely boy. Block the 4-4. Four four. And uh, four. Pramada Visa is a nice little... Fetch land pick up. Who? Promada Vista. I don't know who that Vista. is. Pr Prismatic Vista, I think is the name of it. Promada Vista. Are you just doing your Italian set review? <laughs> yeah, my Italian. Yeah. Gorlami. Brennan the Coco. Yeah, we're Blue just. Black Ninjas was actually already a thing you could do. They just uh, but it just got way better. Block here. We take four and we're dead. Yep. That was pretty rough. I kind of like uh, Wall Blossoms here. No, oh, Prima Vista can get waste. That is true. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. 
Yes. I will play first. This hand is trash. It's pretty bad. I know. Eh. This is fine. Oh, yeah. We did it. Suspendo, friendo. You can suspend a friend. Do, 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 do. Don't, don't, oh god, every fucking game, Jesus. Did it actually submit the dismantling blow? No, of course not. When are you coming down? Next couple turns? Okay. Uh, I think we're just passing. We're going to factor fiction. Because you're not coming down next turn, but the turn after. Vista is going to be played in EDH. will be $40. Uh, yeah, I agree. Vista is going to be nuts. Yeah, definitely plan on picking some of those up. Pick them up then. Pick them up. Pick them up. Split them. It's going to be four and one. I guarantee you. It'd be pretty bad not to. Yeah. That's the best split by far. Now <laughs> oh, the old draw four lands, draw another land. Fantastic. Five lands in a row with one creature. <sighs> oh, boy. Any three drop would have been great here. Because then we could have another guy for when this guy comes down, but... Really? It's aggressive. At least you got all those bad draws out of the way. I guess that's true. Four lands in hand, though. Seems good. Yep, that was a nice one. Excuse me. Keep it down. Wow. Wow. Nice. That's fantastic. Six lands in a row fucking unreasonable wow that's incredible that's absolutely unbelievable <laughs> Ooh, had i known you were gonna hit two lands i literally would have just taken the four four and then put and binned four lands so it almost would have had threshold like Magic's a heck of a game. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, go to seven. Yep, plus two, plus two, everything. Never, never don't have that. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch. Uh, and uh, Patreon and uh, meandies.com slash Frank Lepore and Mana Traders. All those links and promo codes are in the description. You'll get sweet discounts and uh, offers. So definitely check those out. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.